All right, so welcome back to A Tale of Two Wastelands. Uh, last time we started to explore the other side of the river. Uh, went over here, did a little bit of exploration, came on down. Not too many locations, but those that we did cross were, I think, pretty uh, relevant, perhaps pretty important. Uh, I think for this episode we're going to try to loop back up around this side and maybe split back off and head to Megaton from the back. Maybe see what's around here. Uh, but yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're less than 30 experience away from level 7, I've noticed. So it should not uh, take long to get there. Yeah, this place does not run well. In theory, we might be able to find a way to level up in this building, but it's just a theory. Twenty-two here. Ah, uh, do I really want to check through all those? I don't think so. Instead, we're just gonna do heavy weightlifting stuff. Okay. You're a bit thirsty. So we're going to keep an eye out for water when we have the opportunity. Uh, there are quite a few locations to the north. Although well, there are probably some other locations around here. I have modified my keyboard and set up a little bit, but that should make things a little bit quieter have like a soundproof box that I can use because the keyboard itself, while it is very quiet to press, I've noticed that coming up off of the keys is generally quite noisy and I think that's a raider there. They are very, either I'm not, I'm missing a lot or they're very sturdy. Probably a combination of the two. What are you? Ruined office building. Okay, and that's enough to get us to level 7. Beautiful. Alrighty. Uh... I think putting a few points into lockpicking would be well warranted here. If I remember correctly, we can get... Plus two perception from Mentats for a plus four. And that would make it so if we used a magazine, if we had it at level 21, if we used a magazine and our armor, we could boost it up to 25, which is allows us to get through average locked doors, which is pretty important. Uh, repair, I think, 45 or 50. One of the two. I think I'm going to keep it at 45 for now. As for explosives, do I want to invest in explosives or sneak? Actually, let's put some into speech. Just a few. We can up that up slowly later. Yeah, um... Hmm. We could put a few into energy weapons, but I feel like that'd be a waste. I mean, we have guns here. We use them most often, but energy weapons are just so good for, you know, dealing enough chunks of damage to get through damage threshold. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put four points into medicine. Okay, we have a perk here. Roach lover, that's funny. Okay, I think there is only one option here, and that is Mad Bomber. That will allow us to make some pretty crazy good explosives. Uh, one in particular, which is not difficult to make, it requires a little bit of a salvaging, but it's really good, yeah, that explosive, if you can make it. Plus, that perk makes the most sense for Gideon out of maybe any other perk in the game compared to it. 
think this is a unique location. I can check on in here. To be honest, I'm sort of expecting some spooky stuff to go on. Quick save real quick. I like to quick save before making my way through doors. Okay, this is a raider territory. I do slugs. On the plus side, raiders give a lot of experience compared to how difficult they are to take down. Okay, we got water here. We'll take that. We'll take that with us. Nice. Take a quick initial peek through here. Another laser pistol. Uh, yeah, take it with us. Now, I'm not sure if there's going to be anyone else in here. I think this is a modded interior. Scrap electronics and metal and some wonder glue. Okay. Someone's aware of our presence here. We're in caution despite being having walls between us. I'm gonna mount you. Interesting. Don't know what was causing that, but Yeah, we're just barely not doing enough damage to be able to one-shot them with the head. To the head. Got a pretty decent amount of shotgun ammo here. And 10mm ammo can be used to make more powerful uh, 12 gauge rounds. Yeah, we're heavy now. Flamer fuel, quite a bit of it. I'm gonna leave it behind though. It's not really necessary to, to take. Uh, do you have an upstairs? I'd be willing to bet there's some bolts behind this door. No. A stim pack. Blood packs. Now I do remember there being a very good merchant with the uh, with the family. Sells a lot of stuff that we could use. Maybe a lot of scrap electronics too. Whoa! <laughs> Look at all that. That should be three combat shotguns. Yeah. It's just so sad that the uh, combat shotgun just isn't great. It'd be pretty great with uh, the shotgun surgeon perk, but A, we're not going to, we, we'll never have meet the requirements for that, and B, it doesn't fit our character, and yeah it'll still not be dealing great damage even if we do get through their armor i'd imagine it would be similar to our slugs grenade rifle okay it is a good thing we killed him as quickly as we did but we have a pristine grenade launcher here it's on the cocktail now, next level would be very good for us because there's a perk that I think makes sense for Gideon that I plan on taking. 
Can drop that. What else can we drop here? I want to keep the hat because that's giving us a pretty significant bonus to to harder. Also, I think that just drops down to the first level. But I'm I want to see what's inside of these cabinets, if anything. Ah, didn't look like anything. I could jump up for this one. That one. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Let's see here. Yeah, there's just so much I want to take, you know? Duct tape. Lunchbox, we can leave behind. Packs of cigarettes, those aren't actually very valuable anymore to us. We do have quite a decent bit of money, so cigarettes on their own are probably not something I'm going to take very often anymore. Not sure about that yet, but how's this office building? I do like how these interiors help, you know, solidify the role of a scavenger. That combined with the, the crafting system. Helps make things a bit more thematic. Yeah. I really wish that our our regular shotgun shells just were, was a, were able to get through their armor. Also high? Marry me. Sweetie, lit. Okay, wait. Sweetie, listen. I just can't wait any longer. I'm sending this letter via courier, and I'm begging you to respond as soon as possible. Why should we wait any longer? Forget our parents. Every day I sit here and watch my brother Kevin wither away from radiation sickness. Am I next? I don't want to waste another second of my life. Let's get married and make a future for ourselves. Megaton, Rivet City, maybe even Tenpenny Tower. Who knows? When I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything. So marry me, you fool. Huh. So that would be presumably the courier, or... I don't know. The... Whoever. Yeah. Maybe Gideon would make a better courier than them. Who knows? We have this place down here. Inca Cola. Inca Cola plant. Interesting. You probably have a very strong sugary smell coming through these uh garage doors. See what we got here. Got medicine. Oh, that's pretty good. I should really see about very hard locked. Okay, I should really see about buying a home laboratory from Moira. But that would require a lot of caps. Switch to regular ammo for now. Scrap electronics, yes. And Nuka-Cola fridges. Presumably with Nuka-Cola inside. Actually, mostly liquid nitrogen, it seems. 
which to be fair is a very great beverage. Very tasty. Oh, I forgot I wasn't using... Oh, no. I wasted the sneak attack. Uh, we got pulse grenades. This area is clear. Let's really? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's a lot of them here. <laughs> okay. Safe requires key. Is it really worth being here for Nuka Cola? I mean, the stuff is everywhere. Yeah, let's grab the robot scrap and get out of here. Got brighter pastures in the future. Although this pipe is still bursting with steam, so maybe some machinery is running here, but I don't imagine this place would be any good for us now. Okay, we have someone immediately outside. Okay, we can get through this one's armor. Nice. There seems to be at least three different variants of raiders, as far as I can tell. There's the ones that are, you know, obviously very basic, like this one right here, only give 10 experience. There's the ones that are a bit tougher, but are still just called raiders that give like 20. And then there are the like raider bosses with like heavy metal armor and such. Okay, let's slink on in here. Maybe I've been underestimating the shotgun. Maybe I just needed a bit more... A few more repairs. To be able to gain enough damage to get through the damage threshold. I really hope this car isn't explodable. I really hope it's not. Like, this one looks like the tougher variant. Maybe not. That one was tougher. I'm not sure if they get, give random experience, like... They have the same stats, but maybe they have random experience bonus. Yeah. You know, one of my uh, original complaints about... Well, not complaint, but, you know, like, things that could have been done better in Fallout 3 was armor and by that specifically a lot of the armor is thematic it's very cool looking however i don't think it comes in enough variants in my opinion like this armor right here it'd be really cool to have something like this but say with like a like a shirt at the very least Let's drop a weapon here or something. Actually, we have cartons of cigarettes. Yeah, 13. Get that out of there. Scrap metal. I'd rather have just a little bit of money coming in through scrap metal. And have the bonus experience rather than just get a bunch of money. Cigarettes are only really good as a filler loot, I think. 
they are good fit they are good filler loot at that sledgehammer a hammer i do think the devs have intentionally like thought thought through uh, in placing loot here there's a lot of wrenches hammers and wonder glue and such and those are all components used for the weapon repair kit which we need 50 repair for we can actually make some of this stuff right here right now perfect weapon repair kit yeah so now in order to make some more we're gonna need scrap electronics pick up just a few more wrenches on the way out and as much duct tape as possible make sure to put our armor back on i do feel kind of bad leaving that many cigarettes behind they are quite good but you do what you gotta do i mean okay i'll i'll do the quick trip back to megaton and dump some stuff off although i would have preferred being able to make it there organically we can just, say, cut back through. Except there's enemies nearby. Not that I can tell where. Okay. Hop over to Megaton. You want something? Yes. Drop some stuff off here. I'm going to make this a very quick trip here. Okay. Misc cardboard box, yes. Duct tape, hammer, wonder glue, wrench. Scrap metal we can keep on us and give that to Walter in the morning. We can sell the cigarettes later. Or in the morning with Moira. Hopefully he has not disappeared again. Walter. We're probably gonna get ambushed by the stalker. Yep, there are. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean it is nice that they thought of you know there being someone like that, but they just come too often and give too poor loot to make it not annoying. I can't wait. Okay. Still working on that, uh, more rat repellent. Carton of cigarettes. A nice good bit of money here. Okay. Laser RCW will keep with us. Actually, let's dump it. Honestly, it's not that great. Same with the 45 pistol. And we can buy some uh, 308 rounds. And don't have any 12 gauge. That's fine. We'll have some 40 millimeter grenades. What else you got? That's it. I'll buy some 32 plus P. Good hunting. All right. Get out of here. Teleport our way back to the Nuka Cola plant, because that was the closest thing nearby. Take a sip of my own real life Nuka Cola. Well, speaking of which, I really wanted to get into like a soda making. And I found this recipe online, which uh, for a cola and i wanted to make it you know and it called you know it just called for way too much cinnamon and it tasted like a cinnamon soda and it was disgusting hi <laughs> what were you doing Wearing an old 
where you wore clothing. I think you're the only one in here. Interesting. There is always a good bit of scrap in these locations. This game does, and the modders that follow, do make very good use of mannequins at certain times. Look at that, you can see outside. I, li I like interiors like this that you can poke outside through. Yeah, all this dirty clothing. We have some actual clean clothing in our... at home. Yeah, but I guess you were just deciding you wanted to look nice. Abandoning your armor for that. You did change in here. And this armor right here, the, the Raider Badlands armor, it looks really cool for female characters. But, again, variants of that would be so cool. Maybe like there's an armor variant, maybe there's a long sleeve variant, or a combination of the two. And you could just leave it at that. I would love to have the, uh, the mercenary slash raider armors uh, and add more to the loot pool with... You know, different variants, stronger variants too. That's more important in the leveled list. Here we have Radiation King. I don't know what this is. Oh, is it an electronics shop? Oh, I think it is. A tool shop? Oh, this is good. Hollow tape, scrap metal. I forgot to turn it into Walter. I am so terrible. I should take a peek around. There's another workbench here. There's a sign in front of the door. And a floating foot locker. That's okay. 12 gauge. Yeah, we can't make any more many more of those weapon repair kits. Cause we we already dumped off all that stuff back in Megaton. And if I am to be honest, I'll probably have to fast travel there once again. I have another place here on this corner, a salon. Not far off from a saloon. Check back here first. This place has given me an eerie feeling. There's an upstairs here. One of those businesses, I think, where people live upstairs and work down below. Yeah. Sugar bombs, nice. Why are noodles so bad? They're so bad, really? 36 to food? I'll take the squirrel on a stick. Okay. Yeah, this place is clear. I say that, but there could be a script where enemies will enter as I come down the stairs. Shampoo? There's like actual shampoo. There's a bottle of shampoo. I mean, it's shampoo. We gotta use the shampoo, right? We gotta take care of our pristine haircut. I mean, look at this thing here. Look at that pristine haircut. 
it's starting to get, you know, a bit oily, a bit gross. It's only been washed with, like, dirty water. You know, maybe occasionally some, like, wasteland animal soap. So, yeah, some shampoo would be very nice. Especially since we got our heads stuck in this grimy old helmet. And we have a bloat fly over there. That raider over there. Let's cross over in this direction. Okay. I think there are more flies over here. Yeah. Okay. Not too terrible. Not too terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna try to pass quickly through all of these other areas around here. These other interiors. Check on the south side of this building real quick. Yeah, that's it. There is this place over here. I don't know, it just looked unique to me for some reason. This rock. Oh! It is! I thought it was like something with the rock up there, but no, this is something else. Hey, we good? Think we're good. Hey. Hey, hey man. You need something? A little fix, maybe? Some jet? I got jet. Psycho too. Take a look. Um Maybe I could see about some of your chems? Sure, sure. I got it all. Check it out. Maybe he has Hydra. Oh yes he does, but it's really expensive. Okay. Let me put my my hat on. Like look at this guy. He knows what he's buying. He knows the prices. That's one cap off of the Hydra. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth my time and effort. Turbo. Uh, everything else is pretty much irrelevant to me. The steady I could buy. There. Thanks. Yeah, that's it for me. Bye. Huh. Friendly man, although morally dubious selling chems without a medical license i mean we do the same but it's mostly to traders and scavengers we're not selling it to people who are actually gonna use it very often okay these are rad scorpions that one's doing a, a janky maneuver there Okay. If anyone knows about, like, a Fallout-themed, like, crab rave variant for rad scorpions, please let me know. That'd definitely be fun to watch. And now we could go west here. These locations are quite close. Well, I do want to go mostly north. I think that might be the end of the world, that bridge. No? Maybe. The uh, the edges on the world map are really more of a, suggesti a suggestion. Huh. This looks like it might be an actual place. Let me check this truck first. boxes. This one's apparently not made out of metal. Some of them aren't. Okay, Wonder Glue and Dean's Electronics in the back. Someone in there. Okay, what do we have here?
a nice looking place and there's just a kid sitting on a swing uh hi I'm not here to hurt anyone um hi you're new here aren't you wow I've never got a chance to talk to the new people dad always takes care of them before I get a chance oh um okay I guess I'll go talk to your dad then. Gosh, I wish I could go with you. Trust me, you don't want to be out there, kid. Uh, hi. Well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, yeah. Can you tell me about this place? It looks kind of strange why it's a place to settle down and raise a family of course we don't just let anyone in here the homeowners association is very clear on that besides there's no room as amazing as andale is is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families you, what do you do around here i feed my family and i love my wife and daughter what else more is there to life stranger family first and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. I guess I'll be going then. Come back and see you soon. Okay. Thirsty. We can take a sip of water here. Nuka Cola. Fills the veins. Energy. This guy's house is a little smaller. Old Man Harris. Just grabbed a soda or something. Going, uh, what? Hi. Who are you? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing uh, in this town? Uh, get out! Get out while you can! Oh, uh. I don't know, man. It seems like a kind of nice place to me. Well, they're not. They're killers. Every one of them. Run! Get out while you can! Don't believe me, do you? Just check out the basement or that shed. There's a reason they're locked. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Run, stranger! Run! This man definitely seems senile or something. These houses are mostly intact. Fucking money. The Smiths. Ah, uh, hi. Hello there, fella. Good to meet you. Name's Smith, Jack Smith. Welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Virginia's been... Well, I... It's nice to meet you, Jack. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. Uh, sure. Maybe I'll do that. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? Yeah, old man Harris, he's... There seems to be something... Maybe wrong with him? Oh, old man Harris? Don't mind him. He's gone, you know, a little soft in his later years. Ever since Gladys died, he just hasn't been the same. Yeah, he just said something about you being killers. Did he now? I've talked to him about spreading rumors. I guess I'll just have to have another little chat with him. Every time he does this, he scares our new friends off, and we love people. It's a shame when they slip out of our grubby little paws. <laughs> yeah. What do you do around here? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. I guess. And what about this town? 
Glendale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Yeah, I guess I'll be going then. Come back anytime. We look forward to having you. Trusting. Dinner with Linda. The Hi. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. Best town in the USA, huh? I don't imagine there's many towns to compete then. Well, I don't right know. But we're the best one. Isn't that what matters? I mean, we're the winners. Us. Not Springfield. Not Rockville. Us. So like I was saying, welcome to Andale. What can the Smith family do for you? Um. What's wrong with uh, old man Harris? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. Huh. I... Yeah, I guess. I'll get out of here then. I mean, they do do a good job maintaining their houses. Given the circumstances, at least. They don't appear to be as dusty. Might smell a bit more like, you know... Old wood, like a. You ever step foot in a cabin that you haven't been in for a few years? A smell of just sort of dry lifelessness. Probably smells more like that. Maybe a bit with the uh, slightly stinky, but still relatively pleasant people. We have a key. Huh. Harris did say something about checking the basement, and these people have been acting a bit weird. Oh, what a handsome man I landed. Take the key. Yeah, but they're standing right in front of the basement. That's not for now. Ah. Uh, then there's the shack. I'll leave him alone. Is that Harris? No. Well, hello there. Okay. I have a shack here, a garden shed. Yeah. Looks like those uh, shantytown sheds. Not sure where they're getting the sheet metal from, honestly. Okay, we can head on north in this sort of general direction. But I'm tempted to wait a bit until later in the day. It's around 4 p.m. People usually go to bed around 8. So we can definitely explore a little bit more. Let's check out these locations here. Just for the meantime, there is this sort of eerie feeling Gideon's getting around with those people. Also. Raiders here. And a truck over there. Let's get a position here. Who's that? I don't think that's a raider, actually. I think that's a scavenger. Yeah. I think they just took down a raider, actually. Yeah, they took down a few of them. Get a bit thirsty here. Let's see if they have any water. Uh, hi. Hey there. Uh, got anything for sale? Take a look. Welcome to Godforsaken Hellhole. Not much to look at, but it's all mine. 
I think we met someone who said a very similar thing to that. We have a recharger pistol. Damage is not great, but bonus critical chance. We have an actual skill book here, too. I don't think a grenade rifle is... Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Don't need that. I mean, it's interesting, but I'm not sure viable. Right away. I mean, it would be good in theory for a survival playthrough like this, but... Nah. Patriot's Cookbook can come in useful for making recipes. I think just the rest of that ammo in this is more important here. We could sell some of the other stuff we have. Let's see here. Chat, we don't really need much of. I only imagine you would... I don't think he would actually keep any on him, to be fair. And tats, we just have simply too much of. And... Radaway is heavy. Radex is valuable. Sell some more Radex. Psycho. We will not need much of. Okay. Um. Take one Psycho back. That's fair to me. Give me a shout if you need anything else. That's yeah, it. Yeah, see you. Okay. Check these raiders he just murked. Pack of cigarettes. That's basically his stuff, as far as I'm concerned. car. Honestly, I hope Fallout 5 has vehicles, but not like good vehicles that can sail across the map in like 30 seconds. I want ones that go, you know, maybe twice walking speed, like full pace walking speed. Maybe a bit faster than sprinting, but also have the added benefit of free motion and can get across certain obstacles. Maybe something that functions a bit like power armor, that using fusion cores to get around the map in a safer manner. Maybe there'd be spots where it's safer to go via vehicle, and some spots where it'd be safer to go on foot. That, and you could use the vehicle, obviously, to plow through things, like death claws. Plop them with a vehicle, they break their legs. Probably ruin your car too, but it's just the sort of thing you need to do for a death claw, I think. Realistically, realistically. Okay. Not sure what the best place to go from here would be. I think looping back into this area, there was some more interiors to explore and raiders in that direction. I think we're near a chunk of uh, town here ourselves right now. Let's take a low stance. Avoid that radiation. Okay, we got some raiders up top, it seems. I think that's a corpse, actually. Hanging above the metro. Mm -hmm. I think we can go around this guy. Plant some mines over here. That is unless he sees me immediately. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some mines out. I'm going to place them right here, but at the bottom of the stairs. There's a mine there that 
I missed completely some more. Nice. Probably still some directly above us. Ooh. Uh -huh. I accidentally took their armor there, but that is a 12.7 millimeter submachine gun. Actually, I think a really good gun. And I'm very glad we didn't get shot by that. It looks very weird. It looks like a, a nail gun, but... It shoots rounds that I think are... Like, anti-vehicle rounds, if I'm correct. Fairfax Ruins. God, there's some out there. They might have seen us. Okay. I don't know if they have explosives. I don't think they do. Place that here. The stink of the body. I'm gonna use it as cover here. Oh, that's a minigun. Okay, it's not a minigun. It's definitely better experience than the minigun. Okay, I missed most of my shots there, which is actually surprising to me. Okay, they're sort of body blocking for each other, and it's mildly angry, angering me. I do wish slugs were a bit more accurate, honestly. Okay, you're just being obnoxious. Come on. You're kind of gross. What? Okay. Jesus. Let's let's rejigger the cannon so that they were spewing their their blood out of their mouth there instead of spitting on the ground. Okay, 10mm SMG. I don't think the heavy incinerator is going to do us any good. That SMG will give us the ammo in it. So that drained ammo will be just fine. Okay, at these locations? I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. That one might be. That one very well might be. There's one around this corner here. Are they guarding something? A back alley, it seems. Some ammo boxes. Mine boxes. Some trash cans. Okay. I think now would be a good time to loop back to Andale. Approach and stealth. Hopefully they're asleep. It's nine o'clock. Never mind. Hi. Uh, Hello there. Hi. I'm a little busy right now, but never too busy for a friend. What did you want to talk about? Oh, I just uh was wondering about Andale, you know? It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? Mm -hmm. Well, that being said, I think I should leave for now. Really? Don't be such a stranger. You did say something about 
dinner, but I think it's a bit too late for that at this point. But we're gonna do slip on back here and just wait a few more hours to the wee hours in the morning. Midnight 30. Let's try this again. Probably asleep. Yeah, looks like it. This is trespassing, but... What's this? That looks to be a body on the counter. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, all they have are their clothes on them. Bits of intestine. Skeletons in cages. Chainsaw over there, baseball bat. And strange meat. Meat that looks eerily similar to that which Gideon bought off of the the merchant. The one I think all the way near the uh asylum or up near there, which might have been short sighted in in, in hindsight. But, I don't know if he still has any. No. No, he ate it. Oh, he's feeling really sick. Sorry, did that say Curse Breaker? I'll note the supplies in here. He's, he's gonna leave. He needs, he needs a breath. Exit out the door, take a deep breath in. Hey there, stranger. I've got something that I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement. So, be honest now, you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I was in the basement. Oh no. He asks, well, you didn't see anything down there, did you? Yeah. Yeah, since you mentioned it, there was uh, quite a few bodies down there. What is going on? He wants to know our thoughts on it. I think this is a dialogue glitch here. It happens on occasion. I think you're a bunch of sick fucks, and I'm getting out of here. I'm disappointed, friend, but that's your prerogative. If you don't want to enjoy our town, we certainly don't want you here. I'm sorry that you didn't enjoy your stay, but a man does need to feed his family. Nothing personal. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna start with Jack here. Slugs to the face. Magnum. This guy. Uh, retreat away. Mind the house. Get some cover. Try to... Try to route them. Not route. Uh, choke. Point them. Bill, I ain't messing with you here. I don't want to get close to Cannibal. Shooting at old man Harris's house, the grenade launcher. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I don't think Gideon's ever felt as such mortal terror as he did when he saw them just standing in front of the door. Check for supplies. It's the once over here. Linda just had a combat knife. Right there was supposed to be Bill. No, I think he's back there somewhere. Steel shed key, a scoped magnum. Sure. Let's drop a 10 milliliter. Do we even want to... Do we even want to check in the shed? I think we're going to have to. Take a deep breath now. Let half of it out and hold our breath. Yeah. Yeah, more of the same, it seems. Rippers, combat knives, lawnmower blades. Yeah, and more meat. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's not stay here for long. I think we should talk to old man Harris, though. Hi. I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. I was like them for so many years. It's... I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. So, do you grow up here too? Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it, though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I did never think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age. We had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. Jesus. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. Okay. What? What's going to happen to the kids then? They'll stay here with me, and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess? I guess. What are you gonna do? We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it, anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. Yeah, I I hope. I need to get out of here though. Sorry. Bye. It's not talk to the kids. I did see some stuff in the basement which might be relevant. Some weapons. And I'm just going to take them and get out of the basement. We have a burst breaker and a chainsaw. Gideon? Oh. He needs some therapy. The, the only... The only thing that he feels good about right now is not dying, not ending up on somebody's plate. We have a chainsaw here, which is a very powerful melee weapon. And I mean very good. Here we have a baseball bat, presumably used to tenderize meat. Swing's nice. Let's compare it. Bonus critical chance compared to stab happy. Similar. It's in a similar vein to it. I don't know what the difference is between those. Hmm.
Now, I'm tempted to take the chainsaw, but it's just so heavy. I'm going to leave it in the, in the mailbox. And I should leave anything else in there for now. I'm keeping the shampoo as a keepsake. Yeah, let's leave some of the uh, MF cells in there. Okay. What is he going to do now? Okay, I think the most appropriate thing for him is to just head straight back to Megaton. At yeah, some point in walking know. home, he's probably going to puke his guts out for a second. Just at the memory of what he ate previously. Head upstairs. The moon for a second and the stars. Smell all the rust, that salty smell. Just got to take a uh, sleep here. Or try to until morning. I'm going to say he fades in and out a bit. Always at that level just above real honest sleep. That level where it's not really sleep, but... All of us here thank you for everything you've done. Yeah. Another new Coca-Cola. It is comforting to know that this shit doesn't happen in Megaton. At least as far as he's aware. That is that there is that weird church. But in his talkings with Lucas Sims, it seems like he's mostly putting down troublemakers. Not many disappearances unless... It's someone leaving town for whatever reason. Let's go up to Walter and drop some scrap metal off. Assuming he's in here, he is. Hey. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, I got some uh, scrap metal. Just, just take it. Just. Yeah. I don't know what's happening with the dialogue. It's kind of strange, but it is what it is. We're going to go into crater side supply. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, repellent, repellent. Wow. Okay. Okay, what do you have for sale? I don't think it'll be anything different from what we just had. There is a recharger rifle, which is actually just worse than the pistol in every way. I think every way. I could be wrong. But yeah. I'm gonna get out of here. Got a baseball bat on our back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put us some stuff in our supply locker here. We really need to make some room. Quite badly. The death claw hand in there. Duct tape, hammer. Pre war book we can keep on us because we know where to deposit that. Scrap electronics, we can leave that behind. Shampoo, wonder glue, and a wrench. That was ammo. Almost forgot about the system I have here. Okay, 22s we can take, 308 we can take just fine. 32s we can deposit. 44, 45, 10 mil. We can take that. 12.7 we can leave behind. Same with the shotgun. Or the 20 gauge. 5.56. Five, millimeter and energy cells. Okay, let's put the weapons away now. The submachine gun, the 12.7 millimeter, leave that behind. Curse breaker, in theory, could be a very good weapon. It is a good weapon. We're gonna leave it behind because it's a cannibal weapon. I do like to have uniques, collect them. 
about that. Let them be lost to the void and leave some frag mines here. I want to leave my environment suit behind because it's just five pounds that we're not using. And this Blastmaster helmet can make another three pounds off. Yeah, let's put some uh, stuff in our chem cabinet, our magazine cabinet. Gideon's just working uh, automated right now. Meeting people. Yeah, Locksmith's Reader, fixing things. Okay, chem cabinet. A lot of stim packs in there, well. Some turbo in there. A little bit of rebound in there. Some rat away. Rat X. Keep a psycho to sell later. Yeah. Okay, let's access the fridge. Put some stuff in there. I accidentally grabbed everything. I hate myself right now. Okay, ant bits, ant queen, atomic cocktails. And as for this locker, I think this is where you're restoring all of those books. Okay. Okay, let's note the difference between these pre-war books here. Okay, so the red ones I don't think are actually usable for us. But we can still check. As there was a lady in Arlington Library, a scribe, I think, that wanted some good condition books. And I think we just take this time to deliver them to her. Take our a few days at least away from Andale. You've returned. Have you brought me any books? Uh yeah, I have some for you. Excellent. How many are you willing to trade? Um just take all of them off my hands. Very well. Here is your reward. Use it well and return with more books when you can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, ho, ho, the red ones do work. Which in theory is really broken. But okay, they do work. You, they usually don't work in Fallout 3. They don't work like that. Okay. As for now, we need to take our mind off something. And that's really hard for someone who... Probably overthinks a lot, like Gideon might do. So we need to actually occupy our mind here. Let's go to Fairfax Ruins. There's some places here that we needed to investigate, or wanted to. Yeah, we got a good weight here. Nice and healthy. We have this place down here. Military truck. Overlook this. This could be a pretty interesting place. Radiation barrels. They are ticking off the Geiger counter, but that's good to know. That that would happen. Fort Independence. Yeah, 
have what looks to be a one of those outcasts in the black and red power armor. Hi. Defender Rococo Rockstar. Rococo. Gotta be careful out here, mister. Uh nice to meet you, uh Rock, I should call you. I hope you're on my side. Don't say that me or my friends are into getting on good sides. Who are you people? We've got power armor and big guns, and we're the ones doing the talking right now. Usually that's all a person needs to know. And they start asking questions. You going to stop asking questions now? Yeah, I I guess I am. Later. Hmm. Go down there. Keep your head down, idiot. Raider incoming. Hey. If you're going to get yourself killed out here, do you mind doing it further away from our bunker? I don't want your corpse digging up our little patch of heaven. Ah. Yeah, I'd hate it if my corpse ruined this lovely wasteland. It would it would clash with the drapes. Yeah. The red would never go with all this brown. But if we remodel and still need a corpse, we'll call you, okay? I'm Defender Anne Marie Morgan with the Outcast. Good to have someone else out here who can keep up. Who are you people? We call ourselves the Outcast, and we collect technology to preserve it from tribals and idiot locals. And before you ask, we were cast out from that company of zeros who call themselves Lion's Brotherhood of Steel. Way we figure it, if traders think we're too harsh in following orders, we're probably doing something right. I see. Tell me about the outcasts. We collect technology, and most people want what we've collected. Right now, we're pretty much stuck defending this fort, but that won't be forever. Once we regroup, we'll continue our work and keep moving back west. Huh. What exactly do you have against the Brotherhood? You mean apart from the fact that they ditched your mission and went native? Sure. I bet you don't mind them being cuddly with the locals, but when we came out here, we had a mission to do, damn it. But now they're wasting their time protecting yahoos like you, while Ahab Lyons is off chasing his super mutant white whale. Huh. Okay, on that safe, think Moby Dick reference? And by that analogy, you think Lyons will be killed by super mutants? Anyway, I don't know if the old man's going to die from this, but he sure as hell looks like he's going to drag his soldiers down with him. But he's not wasting any of our time anymore, damn it. So you collect technology, right? You, can I sign up for that? We aren't recruiting, kid. Old sap lions might crush walk-ins, but we don't. But if you want to help out, well, we might be able to work out a deal. You bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you a finder's fee based on the device. But Professor Kasdan would have to repay it first. Yeah, um... Sounds good to me. Okay, but first you'll have to talk with Professor Kasdan. You can work out the details with him. Honestly, with the way things have been going here... Gideon... There's a door down there. Gideon is definitely interested in this. The collecting of technology, both as just character and relevance to him. But, yeah. You know, and exploring would be a good side duty, I guess. And these people seem to be decent folks. Sort of like the Brotherhood, but he doesn't really know too much about them, all things considered. 
Uh, this guy looks like he's wearing that sort of smoother, spacey model of armor. Hi. I'm Protector Henry Kasdan, leader of the Outcasts. This had better be good. Normally, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to a local. But Morgan tells me you can make yourself useful. So, interested in collecting technology for us? Um, well, I think I need to know a little bit more about that before deciding. It's simple enough. Bring in technological devices, and we'll pay you for what you find. Big things like power armor or energy weapons are best, but we'll take things like sensor units or spare parts, too. You never know what's important. In return, we'll pay you with your choice of 556 ammo, grenades, stimtac, or radaway. I'll bet they're more useful to you out there anyway. So, if you're going to have a high gun skill, and you're going to use, like, a uh, assault rifle or, like, marksman rifle or submachine gun, not submachine gun, a light machine gun, coming to this guy... He, he also sells, like, the armor-piercing variants, 5.56. Five, uh, it's not actual, like, a trade menu. It's just, like, a like a dialogue menu. You turn things in. And uh, obviously, frag grenades are there. They're useful. Uh, stim packs, very useful. Right away, not so useful, but, you know, it's there. And so this guy is one of, honestly, the best NPCs in this game for getting supplies. Aside from, you know, the actual big merchants. That being said, he does have an expanded menu from Tale of Two Wastelands, being able to take in more stuff that was added in Fallout New Vegas. But from my uh, calculations, uh, one of the best things to bring to him are plasma rifles. If you can find plasma rifles, no matter the condition, and the condition doesn't ma matter for anything, you can find plasma rifles. He will buy them up for quite a bit. But yeah, this is definitely something Gideon would be interested in. Yeah, I guess I'll take the job then. That's what I like to hear. You can start immediately. You'll report directly to me. I'll take in your gear and dole out your pay. Now get cracking. All right. I guess that's it for me then. Get going. Now, I do remember if you bring them enough technology, they'll be uh, more friendly with you. This door down here. Very hard lock into turret control system. Nah. Okay, let's see if we have any water here. No, we're getting thirsty. That's okay. All right. Let's take the rest of this time here to clear out Fairfax ruins. I know there's a decent bit of stuff going on here, aside from just raiders. Seems to be a hot spot for a uh, seizure-inducing flashing graffiti, as well as interiors. Now, it's always funny to see these, like, planks all over these doors here. That would imply that not only did someone, you know, come through here and... Someone had to survive the war here. They had to survive the war to nail these planks and that, or they... It was someone from the, the far post-apocalypse. And that being said, what purpose would there be in nailing up boards like this? And there's probably not any enemies in there, and even if so, that would take a long time and make a lot of noise. Uh, like, if you were trying to barricade your home, you'd do it from the inside, right? Or maybe you'd do it from the outside, but you'd have to have some form of entrance into your home then. Maybe you're there, like, post-apocalypse, they were doing it to fend off the raiders, but... Again, it's, it's on the outside of their home. So someone's been wasting all of that wood, those supplies, to 
board up their homes, buildings. Just doesn't make too much sense to me, and this feels really bad. I'm gonna put some slugs in. This does not feel like a good place. Take this nice and slow. Our eyes peeled. Bounce from side to side, wherever the cover is thickest. Grenade box. I'm not sure if these places are interiors, actually. It could be nice that if these places... Uh, weren't actually interiors that the, the the interiors mod would have put like more barricades over those to make it clear what you can go inside or out of. Because frankly I'm inclined to check every single door now except most of them are basically the same. Most of them can't be entered at all. We do have this place here. I think this is definitely new. Locksmith's Reader. Fairfax House. Not really much good cover here. What I can do, what I very well can do, is use this opportunity to lay some lines down. You're dead, he's back. It's go time. Okay. We need some Jesus, the sniper rifle is so good. Okay. Inject ourselves. We're gonna use some medx. Take our own sniper rifle out. Is that another sniper rifle? It certainly is. What is going on here? Another super stim pack. Another one of those. Soft shell minor lurk meat. Salt carbine time. Sounded like an old man. Oh, that is it. That straight up is an old man. Okay. Oh, and he is tough. He hits pretty hard. Okay. I think that's everyone here. Ouch. Sniper rifle. Road Rascal. Leather armor. Damage threshold 5. Damage resistance 24. Guns and survival. That, that might actually be useful to us. Hold on. Okay. We're 28. And 5. This is 24 and 5. It does look like the normal light leather armor. Reinforced leather armor looks a bit, a bit better. 
Okay, if we do that. Okay, we will be sacrificing 4% damage. Like, resistance? You know, 4% damage off of our what we're taking, but we're also getting the benefit of higher guns and survival. Survival not being very relevant, but the guns is quite good. I think we're going to use... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to do it. So we can take his armor, see that it is quite well designed, quite well tailored, despite it being A, probably a little big on the shoulders, and B, probably, you know, a bit cheaper looking. But it's got armor in the right place. I'm sorry, what is that? Snake Cakes Citrus. Snack Cakes, okay. Never mind. That wasn't as weird as I thought it was going to be. But I thought it was. Wonder glue here. A terminal we can... Actually, can I? Okay. A terminal we can... Try to hack. The game allows us to. Okay. Genghis. No. <laughs> Okay, can't be that. Wait. G E. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't be mankind. Can't be. Wait, can it be mankind? G E N. G H I S. Can be mankind. Okay. Uh. At this point, I think running the... Yeah, okay. Let's run through the whole set here if we can. Dud removed. Okay. Okay. G-E-N-G-H-I-S. That can be for Genghis. No. Can't be sending. Okay. Can't be that. 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 Meeting. That one was a bit trickier just because I need to keep referencing how Genghis is spelt again. Okay. Let's disengage the lock here. Some strawberry and lime cider. Bottle caps. Some spices. Fairfax Raiders notes. Some fajita spices. Some rumble movie disc. Fairfax Raider note. Okay. Found some mad shit on a rich bastard near Red Racer. A bunch of vid discs like I've never seen before. One has footage of Talon Mercs getting torn apart by super mutants in some vast cavern. The other shows uh, some outcast chumps getting slashed to bits by Meyer Lurks. It was awesome. What the hell can I get more of this shit? Rich bastard in Red Racer. Huh.
I'm really hoping to find unique weapons in these places. Metro ticket. Sugar bomb, steamed mylark, iguana bits. Good food. Okay, what is in here? Yeah, that's what kind of what I thought. There's iguana bits in there, but I really <laughs> I can't right now. That's just it's too gross. It's too gross. Cash register, 32 ammo. They do have a basement, but I'm going to leave that for last. You know how these things go. Ten millimeter ammo. Performance dips. Pretty bad ones. Oh. Uh, bottle cap. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Yeah, I will pick up every single one of those. I could pick, pick that lock. I don't think I'm gonna, because I feel like that's kind of a waste. Let's go downstairs here. Basement. Huh. Okay, this is a bigger complex than I thought it was. Does this lead up to a nearby house? I think it does. Some slugs in here. Not now. There's another one. Okay, that's not that's not nice. Okay, there we go. Damn, dude. And I become addicted to Medex. That's just splendid. Shot the gun out of his hands. Nothing he can do now. Except, except his fate, I guess. mine here there's definitely more to this place i think what they've done is had have that go up to a different part of the house a different house even or maybe a garage your guard dog Had their dogs, kept them in here. That's making a bunch of noise. I was just... You get what you deserve. Doctor's bag. Stim pack again. This is all just sort of ridiculous. Everyone here has a sniper rifle, and I can't figure out for the life of me why. They're just that well supplied, I guess. Atomic cocktail, beer. A woolly mammoth, a small one. Uh, we can put our jumpsuit on. And we need mentats to do that, I think. I think we're 
one below what is required to do that. Mm, I am so upset. Okay, while that's already done, let's run back downstairs and check out that locked uh, thing down there. Let's see. You. Okay. Okay, all fair. Fair enough. Rascal, we need to put our hat back on. What are we doing here? Let's go upstairs now. There is no upstairs. Not here, there's not. I definitely think this is another house. Yeah. I think that's it. Though I did see this weird, this quantum, have this weird glow from back there for some reason. But good for me. Good for me. Okay. They did see, say something about a red rocket. They found the, uh, this weird, uh, discs on there. Underglue. Yeah. Let's just take a peek outside real quick. Red Rocket. I just want to make sure that this town is clear before we head on off. Take some sips from this fire hydrant. Strangely less irradiated than the toilet water, despite technically being in a you know a stagnant source of water that has to re that has to be replaced every few years normally. Okay. It was over there, I think. So maybe we can explore that direction next time. Yeah. Alrighty. I think as for now, we'll leave this episode off. Uh, let's let's sit right here. This episode off. Gideon's fighting off some uh, pretty sick feelings that he might be able to estimate as probably a addiction to some substances that he just took. And that being said, I think next episode we're going to go off in the direction of the red uh, rocket over there and maybe check down here and hopefully actually loop back up to Megaton this time. Yeah, do some more exploring around here. We're getting pretty thorough around this region. I like it. I like it. We're filling in the map, making sure we're not missing anything. That being said, I don't think we're even... Maybe we're a quarter of the way done with the, the exteriors, shall we say. With all that being said, hope to see you next time for A Tale of Two Wastelands.